Oh yes, baby. That was a good bite. Ladies and gentlemen, those of you who don't know me, this is Khan Or, your YouTube fisherman. Back here, beautiful Florida morning. We're gonna surf fish. I love it, guys. Not much wind. Water looks kind of clear, bluish, greenish. I like it to be a little bit more blue, but hey, we'll take it. Right now is low tide, 9 a.m. Around 10, it's gonna be incoming tide. So I'm looking forward to that. I started late. I don't like fishing the low tide. I like to fish the incoming and high tide and outgoing tide. That's the best time for surf fishing in my opinion. So let's see. Target species as always, nice keeper pompano, golden nugget. We'll take a whiting, redfish. I mean, if anything else is running, sometimes we catch black drum and ship set here. So let's see what happens. But everybody's been talking about this. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys my personal opinion at the end of the video. Today's battle is gonna be between fish gum and fish bites. Let's see who the winner is. Everybody has their own opinion on likes. Some like fish gum, some like fish bites. And I'm gonna tell you at the end of the video what is my favorite bait to use, fish gum or fish bite. And we're gonna compare them. I'm gonna have two rods out, one with the shrimp. I have live shrimp as well. As you can see right there, I'm gonna cut the head off, tail off nice little piece of shrimp and we're gonna attach the fish gum to one rod and fish bite to one rod and we're gonna do the same size equally we're gonna cast them out the same distance and that way same weight and everything same setup we're gonna use our pump on the rigs circle hook primit weight pump on the rig so everything's gonna be the same exact time exact way exact rig and we're gonna see which one gets the most bite and you guys get to decide end of the video and uh, let me know what is your favorite also on the comment below fish bite or fish gum what is your uh, bait of choice or you don't use any of them at all so comment below let me know but without further ado let's see who's the winner and guys just from the get-go as i'm cutting the baits into little squares you notice that fish gums are more meaty, thicker. It's almost like a natural bait. Like it almost feels like a nice steak, piece of steak. And the fish bites are just plastic, thinner, harder. So I don't know, you guys decide, but so far I do like the fish gums, how they stay a little thicker. Like I like that better. It's more enticing to me for the fish. But we'll see, once it gets in the water and dissolves, I know the fish bites hold longer, stay longer, by that, but then they have the inside mesh between the bait and that stays there and it's very hard to get off the hook. So I don't like that. I don't like that mesh in the middle. Fish gum, it's not like that. It dissolves easily, gets off the hook easily too. I mean you can hook it easier and take it out and put another shrimp and put it back again fish bite you cannot do that it gets stuck on there so it's a plus or minus you take it however you think but that's what happens but so far there's a difference i see before i start baiting it so we're gonna go ahead and use our fish gum we already put our shrimp cut the head off cut the tail off circle hook just from the middle, right there. Same thing for the top one. Shrimp, fish gum. So we're gonna send it like that. Another rod for the fish bite. All right, the fish bite rod got hit. They took the shrimp, but fish bites are still there. In fact, not even a bite on them. 
No bite on them. They got a little mushy, but still very hard. And they get sticky. It's very hard to take it off the hook, but I guess it's a good thing. But if you want to put a shrimp back on and put the fish bite on back, back on, that's a hard thing to do, so that's a negative for me. I want to be able to take it out, put a shrimp on, or sand flea, whatever, and then tip it off with the fish bite. Fish gums are much easier. You could actually play, take it out, and put it right back in from another spot, so it still stays strong and doesn't come off, but you could take it off if you want. These gonna be very hard to take it off. For Just fish reeled bites. in the fish gum one. I want to change the primitive weight to the uh, Sputnik as well. Same story. Shrimp are gone, and fish gum still there. So, and that's how the fish gum stays. Little looser, but it looks thicker, more natural bait and still stays there unless you actually take it out so i like that like right now i could just take it off easily let me show you so i could take it off like that and then from the other side i could see it's harder too so it's still hard it's not gonna come off the hook and i could still put the shrimp on and then the fish come on Fish bite, you cannot do that. It gets slimy, sticky, and very hard. You cannot take it off, you have to cut it off. Or just push it back, and put the shrimp, and hook it from the bottom again. So, that's how it goes right now, so far. But they took the shrimp on boat. Fish comes and fish bites oh, are there. Oh, yes, baby. That was a good bite. <laughs> that's on the fish gums. 70 yards out, I'm sending both rods the same distance. It doesn't seem too heavy. It pulls a little, but I'm not pulling a drag, so. Small size. Come on, come on, Pompano. Maybe eight incher, nine incher Pompano. Whiting. But it's a fish. First fish is on. Oh, little mutton. Little mutton. All right, see that spot right there? People do eat that if you get them nice and big. It's too small, baby. We're gonna toss them out. Fish gum has been eaten. So one for the fish gum, ladies and gentlemen. From the top hook, the bottom's still there. So let's go. Fish gum one, fish bite zero. I use the string to secure the shrimp on the hook. I tie it a couple times. It's very thin, so it's not gonna affect your baiting. It's not gonna be visible. It's very, very thin and almost invisible. So. I just kind of wrap it, it's very elastic too, see? It expands, so you kind of grab it, pull it, and then loop it around. That's gonna stay on that hook, your bait, much longer. So those little bait fish don't steal your bait and you have to be bringing in your rod, casting out every five minutes. So that saves you extra five, 10 minutes. And you have a better chance of hooking up fish. So that's it right here. I'm gonna put it on the link below for you guys. You can check it out. It really helps on surf fishing. So let's go. So far, fish gums one, fish bite zero. Let's see who's All the winner. Right. One whiting on fish bites. So fish bites on the board. I mean, it's kind of bitten. Uh, yeah, we'll give one for the fish bite. That one is bitten as well, so. Yes, they definitely bit it. So fish bites one, fish comes one. Nice small whiting. <laughs> Let's go. So this is how the fish bite end up looking. Mesh showing up. Eventually it's just gonna be a mesh. No bait whatsoever. 
on it so I'm gonna go ahead and cut that it dissolves and the only way to get rid of it is you gotta cut that mesh to put a new one so let's do that cut that one as well there we go so very slimy I mean I could have still used it one more time but I like to keep it nice and fresh so it's more visible for the fish as well so let's rebate and cast it out <laughs> wow fish come Fe I mean fish bite now is the fish bite time another whiting on a fish bite okay a little bigger but we're gonna let him go so fish bite is on the board as well guys so it was 1-1 one, one, now it's 2-1 for the fish bite but the fish bite still there that's the thing and they're eating the fish gums like crazy nice whiting on a fish bite fish bite two fish gum oh, one bite on the fish bites bite on the fish bites yes i think that's whiting let's see let's see ladies and gentlemen fish bites very small whatever it is it was a nibble 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 bite around 60 yards still incoming tight this is the fish bite yeah very small another i mean it's okay it's okay size but still small whiting so whiting loves the fish bite that's what it seems like they're actually getting it i mean shrimp too of course but so that's fish bites three fish come one and it's all whiting for the fish bite so you want to catch a whiting definitely use fish bites <laughs> one more observation on the fish bites see the mash the fish bites dissolves too quick and leaves you with this mash same thing at the bottom i just put those actually like we did a two cast three cast only and this is how it goes you end up with a mash fish gum you do not fish gums as well came right back the way they were 10 minutes but one big difference guys fish gums still intact very thick nice and juicy like it's still there it's not slimy like the fish bites i feel like fish bites puts out more flavor once it gets uh, dissolved once it starts to dissolve it does put out more scent that's what it seems like because it's kind of dry i touch it i feel it after it gets wet not much scent i don't think i mean smells but not as smelly as the fish bite so that's one good advantage for the fish bite i mean all in all guys really if you on the verge of deciding what to use i highly recommend using both really at, at the end of the day fish gum it's different fish bite is different but it just to attract fish to get you on the fish better i would keep both baits on the tackle if i were you so definitely keep a package of uh, fish gum and package of fish bites my experience on the fish bites i like the easy clam flavor that definitely hits more you know as far as the fish goes and for the fish gums i like the uh, palm candy and the flea flavor which is the one i use today right here so you could have a palm candy that's like an orange color like a blood orange and chartreuse green that's like the sand flea kind of color 
flavor so I would recommend those to you guys like I said there's no clear winner you know either one catches fish it just happened to be you know that day that fish is biting that one one day the fish is biting the other one so I highly recommend keep both on your tackle box but comment below let me know what is your favorite what do you use when you go surf fishing do you like sand fleas do you like live sand fleas do you like live shrimp do you prefer frozen shrimp or do you prefer clams i know a lot of people especially professionals they use clam they use the nice salted cured clams very small pieces and then they attach the fish gum or fish bite at the end also little pieces so like i said everybody's different let me know what is your preference to catch uh surf fishing papano whiting jacks whatever bites out there but that's it for today it was a beautiful day slow i mean just bunch of whiting small mid-size no pompano but again i like to fish the high tide not the low tide and high tide is coming in but i gotta go i have a game district finals for the high schools i got a referee still gotta drive all the way to orlando so that's it for today i appreciate you guys tuning in watching it thanks for watching please hit the like button please hit the subscribe button i'm trying to hit 5,000 subscribers this year so please help me out hit that smash that subscribe button but again thanks for watching i will see you on the next video tight line everybody